camera has speed. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke Sherveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today we're in a very uh, standard mode that we've been in a lot where we have a presenter. It's going to do a little bit of walking. So a little of this. Maybe it'll just be stationary. We're not quite sure. You know, you want some graphics next to the person. And we've built up uh, a good size key here. This is uh, two 600 Ds through eight by half grid and a honey crate. So that gives us a little bit of that uh, here you're getting the full um, uh, unit, and then with the crate on it, it takes that light down just a bit uh, so that when he comes to this second position, he's in the same basic light that he is at this position. So we've got a side uh, angle, and that's a second camera on a slider, and um, that's just getting you know a tight of the same person. But we're going back and forth on the dolly, uh, with a teleprompter, very straightforward, but we wanted to put in a backlight. And so we've got a, a Nanlux 650C on a pretty good sized menace. It's a, a double menace, so it's got this sort of um, shotgun barrel setup, and that is hiding around the corner here. And then in the back, we've got a Nanlux 1200C, and that's just giving us a nice wash on the floor to bring up that background. And then we're letting the uh, light go in the back. The art department has made that a nice white wall. So uh, your eye isn't drawn to that. You're sticking with the person that's talking to you. So that's what we've got going behind the camera. We've got a 20 by solid just to take out the extra light. And we also put some bisqueen up on the skylight. Then we've got a little fill here with a 300D and a 300X, just giving us uh, filling this out a little bit so it's not so sourcey. Even though we've got all these windows here and that's given us our main feel of the light for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Is that something we can get rid of? Uh, I think there's got to be a way to move right from the back. What are you looking for? So this C-stand, um, we still have usable frame. You just, oh, I see if it could get it. Here was a situation where the C-stand now was in the shot. So the grips had, when they rigged it, had put opposing pins on the frame. And so they could just move that C-stand around to the other side and grab it from the back. We weren't using a lot of lights, so I didn't necessarily have to have them on remote control, but it's nice when you're previewing something or wanna see something quickly, you can do it all from one place. Here you can see we didn't even have the two 600Ds at full. They were just at 60% and the backlight was at 30%. So plenty of light to play with.